So, adding on to the Titans Return videos, many people may have thought, if you watched the Astro Train video ending, that I was going to do Galvatron or Megatron, but I was going to do Megatron, no, Megatron, Galvatron, but um, he is a tough little subject. So I'm going to review another figure I hinted to in my Astro Train review. That would be the one that was extremely similar to him. Tenth Return Deluxe Class Scourge. Love that name. Scourge is a I'm a. It's supposed to be like a spaceship or a space hovercraft, but everyone in the community can just call it the space bar soap. I can kind of see it. But yeah, Scourge is one of the sweeps. I mean, he is one of Galvatron's minions, so uh, score one for that. He is a little white and blue hovercraft. We got some light blur type blue right here on the front section right here in the nose cone and on the sides. Got some dark blue running along most of the fuselage. And on the sides where we got some intakes. We got some more intakes up here with some red and a little red dot right on that one. Got nice little wings of the thrusters. Come to the back. We got the ending of those thrusters and it was supposed to be two more, but don't really look like it, do they? And of course, there's the neck socket. It's got little wings and little side ports, which I guess were sideways thrust, or vector thrust, I think that's what they call it. Got a little cockpit right there, and then he's got a nice big Decepticon symbol on the front of the hull. Quite nice. Turning it around, uh, there's his robot mode. Not hiding much, are ya? He's relying on panels. And. Many people complain about these panels, how they kind of make it look a bit squarish, and from certain angles, yes, that is true, but from others, it just looks like it got panels on the bottom. They did mold some guns onto it to make them more justified as actual parts, and he's got two Figma stands, Figma compatible ports on each one, although when you try to hold them on, it kind of flops, so hope you got tight hinges, or, you know, proper balancing. <laughs> So, what can you do with this mode, besides just going whoosh? Well, you have one of these Titan Master guns, which you can plug on the nose cone. Or not nose cone, I'm a fuselage right there in front of the cockpit, obscuring all visibility. Or you can plug it into one of these sections right here, and have it off the side, which I don't like. I keep it up top. And of course, you take a Titan Master, a Grax, and you just take his heel piece and you plug it right in there. And now you got a Titan Master inside of the gun. Hope you feel happy with yourself. But he doesn't just come with a gun and a Titan Master, he does have a little Titan Master. This is Fracas. Now, originally back in G1, Scourge was a target master, and Fracas was the target master partner. But, of course, you can't have a line about headmasters and not have one that isn't a Legends. So, they couldn't just give him a guy who turns into a gun, so they turned a guy that turned into a gun and made him turn into a head. You catch all that? So, getting in close on the detail here, it is quite nice for his scale. He's got proper little head with a little... Great transformer antenna, radios, goggles, silver face, kind of a bland expression. Very nice molding here. Got some nice uh, detail in his chest plate and a screw in his belly. The uh, legs are pretty well detailed. Got some paint on them. And if you turn him around, turn this out. He's got boxes on the side of his butt head. We'll talk about this more in robot mode. But. You can plug him into said cockpit. There's a little slot right in there that his heels will plug into. You gotta make sure you got a little butt cannon folded up. And you just plug him on in there. Close it up. That little tab, plug into that little slot. Lock it up nice and tight. And you gotta make sure you grab it from the right angles. Because sometimes when you try to pull it off, you end up pulling the whole canopy off because it's not, it's just one of those peg hinges and I hate the plumbing in this place. If you haven't caught the story, the plumbing runs directly behind my wall, so 
But this guy has another feature besides just a stupid Titan Master Chair gun. He's got pegs, since he is from Wave 1. So you can plug a Titan Master on the front of his nose cone, and then fly, and then watch him fall off. Because why would you put a dude on top of a jet thing that flies through space? So, now that we've gotten through the official features, time for an unofficial one. Now you see, he's got a little hidden feature. This top piece right here is removable. It's just a 5mm slot. And, of course, you can just plug it in here and make a triple-barreled gun. Or rotate it around and make a scope. But that's not the undocumented feature. You see, on the port, there are two little grooves on the side. Right there and right there. There and there. So you take your Titan Master, you put it in head mode, and you can plug it right on top of the fin. This is a classic Scourge feature, because in the original movie he did this. Not sure if he did any, any time out of that, but it's just kind of a thing. So now he can go gut Ultra Magnus. And he still has a Titan Master head joint range mutability. So we just unplug that. Get rid of that stupidity. So now you know how that works. So enough about that. Let's get him into his robot mode. So to transform him, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come to these side sections right here, and they're gonna unpeg. It's just two tabs. Uh, one slot plugs into the hole in the ball jo socket. The other plugs into a slot right there. We'll do that on both sides, and we'll fold them up to get them out of the way for now. Then we're gonna pop the front off. If we can get it in view, there are two teeth right there. Right there and there. If we unplug them, there are two slots. Just gonna extend those out. And you wanna rotate them so they're face the empty sides are facing you. And to for reference, since the hips can go all the way around, you're gonna wanna make sure that on the closed end of the mushroom peg swivel right here, that the smaller side of the rivet is facing towards you, not the big side. It's gonna work either way, but you're gonna want this section because it looks a lot better. Then, I'm gonna fold the rear of the, or the front of the nose cone back. I'm gonna rotate this little panel around and this tooth plug into that slot, forming the shin. We're going to fold the toe out. And we're going to repeat the process over here. Then we're going to rotate the waist all the way around. And this part, you're going to want to make sure the Titan Master cockpit is empty. Because we're going to shove the waist in there and the whole stem is going to plug up right in there. So make sure you have your Titan Master removed or else you won't be able to transform them. And you can keep this attached. If you do, I would recommend rotating it down. But I'm going to take it off for the density's sake. Now we can focus on the rest of the robot and not just kill them. Or legs. Now this arm's already unpegged itself, so we're just gonna transform that by folding the hand out and rotating the shoulder down. But there is a tab right there, and it will plug into the open section of the mushroom swivel on his bicep. Rotate the hand out, swivel the shoulder down, and adjust the wings to your liking to make his wing cape thing that he always has. And we're going to take little Fracas here. We're going to transform him by collapsing his legs and doing the blur thing. Extend this little thing up top and plug that into the socket. And here we have Scourge in his robot mode. And my oh my, this is a nice looking figure. Take a look at the head. I can ever get it in focus. It's a very nice head. I like the little beard and the goatee thing he has going on. I wish it was painted black. Beady little red eyes. Just looks disappointed like a Norse god. He's got the little thing up there because in G1, 
on the stem, his head, this thing would form the top of his head. But clearly you can't do that because he's a Titan Master, and you can't do that with the Titan Master. And of course, Scourge has a very small head shape, so they had no other choice but just to make the arms on the side. They had, there was nothing really they could do. So he's got two giant blocks on his ears. And they don't lock in place like the other Titan Masters because there's nowhere to plug the little arm tab in, like on Blur or uh, Grax. So you just had two things sticking off the side of his head. So speaking of Titan Masters, and I said Blur for Blur's Titan Master, I meant Hyperfire. Here he is next to a Skull Smasher. And they are about the same size at the head. And here he is next to Blur, and he is a bit taller than Blur. And a lot bulkier too. So, how's our gesticulation fare out? We got a bit of bobblehead, because of a little jiggly little connector in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it is shaking around when I touch it. But he still has the Titan Master ball joint, which is standard. He's got ball joints in his shoulders, which provide him pretty decent movement, although that's about as far as you can get, although you can take advantage of the hinge, although outward, that's all you're getting. He's got a bicep swivel, that would be cautious, because every once in a while it likes to pop out, I recommend if you're going to turn it, you see if you got a figure like mine, put your, put your thumb right here to brace it, so when you turn it, it won't pop out. A little bit over 90 degrees in the elbow, and the wrist can fold in. So you can say he, like, uh, punched a wall. Uh, uh, why did I do that? I broke my wrist. And, you know, it can go out because no reason. Uh, you may think he has a waist joint because of that swivel section for transformation, but he doesn't. It's locked. He's got universal hips. Slightly detented in the outward movement. He's got a thigh swivel. Uh... Little, he's almost getting 90 degrees in his knees, but barely not there. And you can fold his toes down, you can fold his heels down, you can fold them both down. Now he has shovels for feet. I hope you're happy with yourself. And the wings, they have a hinge at the base, and they got a hinge right here. So you can do whatever you want with it, or you know, just completely fold them out of the way if you don't like them. But why would you do that? Now he's all blue. Abadi abadi. So how's the paint fare? Well, you've got this paint app right here. It looks like a power meter. A little Decepticon symbol right there. Already covered the face. He would have like a yellow section on his crotch, but it the blue kind of bleeds through the paint. So it makes it leaves it looking a little green. Sickly, sickly green. And he's got some like switches on his legs. I'm not sure. Most of the paint was devoted to the decorating of the hull, so like on the sides and rear of his legs, and a lot on the cape. So he doesn't really have much in his robot mode, but like Blur, he kind of pulls it off a bit. So what can you do with guns? Well, you got the double barrel thing, little Titan Master gun, you can plug that in one hand. And then you got this thing, which on its own you could plug in for like a little pistol pistol and a double barreled rifle but like I showed you can plug it in here make a triple barreled gun or like how I like to do it give him a scoop on his gun which also kind of covers up the Titan Master cockpit so everyone wins so it would be a crime for me not to point out at this point, but all Titan Masters share a common socket, so you can change heads, which is why they have those individual Titan Master packs, so in case you lose a head, you can buy another head, you just plug it on in there, and you're good to go. I'm going to take this off, this doesn't look good. I like Scourge's his, his head, I don't interchange them at all. I like it where it is. So... It's just a good figure. Yeah, it's pretty solid. He's got a bit of a wibbly neck hole, but if you're good with fixing issues like that, if you're good at going in and, you know, 
fixing the problem yourself. Like I'm not. You could probably fix it. So if you got the time and the patience, you could fix those issues. But on its own, it's a solid figure. And you can if you can get over the flaws, it's definitely per it's definitely a good purchase. And if you're a fan of the Heralds of Unicron, Heralds of Unicron, which is Galvatron, Cyclonus, and Scourge, he is a definite pickup. But if you're a bit iffy on the whole kind of after after 1986 designs, and it may be a tough case. But if you're new to the franchise, Scourge is, Scourge is probably a solid figure to pick up. I think him and Blur from Wave 1 are probably your best bet. But that's just me. So this is Nightbrain 53 taking a look at Titan's Return Deluxe Class Scourge. Um, yeah, we'll get on to some more Titan's Return, maybe some RAD. Who knows? I might. I I got a few. Uh, I I got one. Uh, last night figure. I'm. I may review him. He is very cool. So, hope you enjoyed the review. This is Nightbrain 53 signing out.